it's the pressure cooker and i'm back with another video um, i'm going to cover a couple of stories in this video uh first one is a story about a mom i believe it's in georgia and the other one will be about an update regarding angela tremonte so let's first talk about the parent uh in crawfordville georgia so uh this woman her name is casey marie brooks she's 28 okay she was recently arrested for assaulting a teacher um, at, at her child's school. So her child is in preschool and the name of the school is St. Teresa of Avila Catholic Church. Now, uh, let's get into this story. Okay. Apparently, um, this woman approached the school because she requested video about her son. And I think she watched the video for three hours where she found out that this teacher in question had uh, abused her son. Okay. We're not going to mince words here. She abused her son. Okay. She was standing over him. She was intimidating him. She hit him. She used a book to bop him in the head. Just really inappropriate things. Like it was very clear that this teacher um, was a physically aggressive towards this child. Okay. Um, so the mom, uh, I don't know what happened in the meeting. I guess she had requested to meet with the teacher and she lost her cool and she popped the lady in the head and, and I think she punched her in the back of the head a few times. Okay. Somebody tried to get her off and she couldn't, I think the, the woman in question who was attacked was 61. She ended up getting arrested and then she posted something. The mom posted that the school you know, of course, they're going to be happy that her mugshot circulating. And then she shared her story about what happened, that she was able to view this surveillance footage. OK, her son is nonverbal. He's two years old and he's in a daycare classroom. I'm going to read what she said, OK, that uh, the teacher slapped him with a book, hit him in the head, spanked him several times, shoved him to the ground. Uh, snatched him up by one arm and carry him around the room multiple times. Slam him in his seat to make him eat lunch alone in time out. Pick him up by his ankles and hold him on his neck and head and grab his face so hard his cheeks were touching his mouth. Okay, you know what this tells me? This tells me that this child came home with some bruises and the mom was like, oh, hell no. What the fuck's happening at the school? And she went and requested this video, which uh, who knows what they did with it now. And then she lost her cool. Now, guys, let's be honest here. Who wouldn't lost? Who wouldn't lose their cool if some bum ass teacher put their their hands, okay, on your child, okay? And this wasn't even not that we would make an excuses for her, but this wasn't like one time where she grabbed the, the child's arm or something out of frustration. She repeatedly put her hands on this child and was mean and nasty to him. And I have a hunch about what happened. See, sometimes with nonverbal kids. People be taking that shit personal, okay, because they can't, they don't know how to effectively communicate with a child and they lose their cool. And again, this is no excuse because this lady sounds horrible. She sounds like she shouldn't be nowhere near nobody's child. If you're going to be losing control and being this dysregulated, ma'am, you don't got no business working with nobody's children. Not only do I hope that this mother, I hope that the judge considers, you know, the situation and that these charges get dropped, okay? But I also hope that this, uh, teacher gets child charged with child abuse. Okay. Because this isn't just a one-time thing. You repeatedly did this to her son. He's two years old. Okay. You're not supposed to put your hands on nobody's kids at no damn daycare. And if you're losing your cool, it's time for you to go. So then after the, the um, mom had posted this to social media, then the school conveniently, um, before they said they weren't going to do anything to the teacher guys, they didn't, they said they weren't going to do anything after she posted this to social media. When she was released, the school then <laughs> claimed that they was, they were putting this teacher in question on administrative leave pending the investigation. Yeah, I know what's going to happen next. I don't support violence of any kind, but you know what? When you put your hands on people's kids, you got to expect what's going to come to you. This lady better be happy that she ain't dead. Okay. Um, you don't do that. I'm going to tell you a quick story. I, I said it before, but I don't remember if this is on here or my old channel. My aunt, uh, shout out to Auntie Janet. Okay. When I was in Jamaica as a little kid, now I, the, the details are blurry. And I think I must've been at school that day because I actually remember this. So this teacher, she was, I think she was like the second or third grade teacher. I can't remember. Her name is Miss Robotum. And Miss Robotum was a mean, nasty bitch. Okay. And she stayed putting her hands on kids now in, in those schools, they could in Jamaica. So, <coughs> excuse me, but she crossed the line. She really, really, really put her hands on my cousin Sasha in a bad way. And, uh, even though a lot of Jamaican parents might use physical punishment, you don't, there's just certain lines. And this lady did too much child. Let me tell you. 
Auntie Janet is not here for the bullshit because my cousin's mom was away at the time, like in the States. So she, she was taking care of both of us. Child, Auntie Janet, let me tell you something. Auntie Janet went up to the school, okay? And I still remember, she's a force to be reckoned with. I swear to God, I thought that teacher was going to get her ass beat. And I know, even though I was a child, Auntie Janet is not the type of person to be played with, okay? She would have beat that teacher's ass and she, and she would have spared her so she can live to learn the lesson. When I tell you she got up in that teacher's face and she cussed off the lady in a patois, it wasn't just for a show though. Like she really wanted to put hands on this lady, okay? I don't remember what happened, but she embarrassed the shit out of that lady, okay? And she said, if you ever put your hands on this girl again shall i remember that shit and I, I i must i was under nine that's how that's it has to be because i moved to the states when i was nine so i know that i was younger than that but baby she wasn't having it and that's you don't put your hands on people's kids okay you might get your arm broke off or you might lose a couple teeth or you might have some other things happen to you i hope this lady it, uh gets free Okay, um, I, I hope people, I hope if she ends up having a whole bunch of legal fees, people donate to her GoFundMe. This teacher, you were on video committing these crimes. Bye, ho. Anyway, I know I get worked up, but y'all know I don't mess with uh, kids. Yeah, people do too much. Okay, this lady needs to go and, and, and do some things. And I hope maybe the mom could get off with some anger management classes or something like that or some, um, what is it, pr uh, probation or something something child so she could get back to her two-year-old anyway guys what do you think <laughs> let me know in the comments um next story so we're gonna talk about an update of miss angela tremonte I, I covered this story a few weeks ago on my channel she is from saugus um and you know they're saying that this lady went hiking on a first date she's from saugus massachusetts with this man named dizdar D uh dizdar is his last name he is a police officer in the arizona phoenix arizona area now, did he claim they both went hiking without water? Okay, we've covered this. There's extreme temperatures in Arizona. It's not just a regular heat. It's out of control, okay? Over 100 degrees. Sometimes over, I think in this case, it was like 114, 115. So, uh, apparently, she said she was tired and didn't want to keep going up the hill or something. And she turned back. Um, this man is, is a cop. Okay. He's going to know that if this lady doesn't have water and stuff, why didn't he stop her? Why didn't he accompany her back? He continued to go about his business, taking pictures. Next thing you know, this poor woman ends up dead. Okay. Now, uh, the police recently are claiming that I think it's final. Okay. They're claiming this was an accidental death and it was a death by heat, heat exposure. They're denying any foul play. They have since the beginning, um, and Angela's mom is not here for it. Okay. Angela's mom said, y'all are lying. Y'all covering stuff up. She said that her daughter stayed with a gallon of water. She was a very fit person. Um, so I don't, you know, I really feel bad for this family guys, because it sounds like it was heat exposure, but that doesn't mean that this man didn't have anything to do with it. And at the very least, he was very negligent as a, as a first responder, because how do you not know? Let's say she really didn't have water. I still think my original theory is they probably got in some type of disagreement and, you know, it was a first date and she was like, F it, I'm gonna just turn around. And, you know, unfortunately this led to her death, but I think also he could have did something. You know, I, does this family have money to pay for um, an independent autopsy, you know, apart from what the, the police in the area did? Because to me, that's the only way you're gonna get to the bottom of this. I, if something did happen, I don't think it's far-fetched that something happened. I just don't know how he could have killed her if he, you know, allegedly, if there's no, it doesn't sound like there's any signs that he did anything. So if anything, he was just a jerk and a bad date. What do you guys think? Um, do you think there's more here? You know, the autopsy is complete and, and they've given these find, findings. Um, do you think the family should get another autopsy by independent source? I do. I think that, I think if that's possible that, they should, but I don't know how that works in this case. Either way, rest in peace to Angela Tremonte. I really feel for her family. Um, this is horrible. And I don't even know what else to say because if if it isn't true and, and the police is covering up, how do you even begin to unpack this, guys? So anyway, um, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.